Hi there, welcome to the short and to the point video on salbutamol. This video will cover all the essentials. How and when to take salbutamol, what is the correct dose, but also what are some side effects, and what are possible concerns for the use of salbutamol. Also made a more in-depth video for people who want to learn just a little bit more. You can find that video in the, in the description. If you liked it, please feel free to subscribe and maybe do thumbs up. And let's get into it. First of all, a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. So, Salbutamol is the generic name of this medication, but it's known under the brand names Ventolin, Aramir, Salamol, and there are some others. It's available in those aerosols, nebulizers, and an inhalation powder. And you can use this medication when you have an asthma attack or a COPD attack or when you are experiencing breathlessness. And how can you use it? Always use an inhaler with an inhalation chamber. This way the medication is taken most effectively and will work best. After taking the medication, within 5 minutes you will experience its effect and it will work for 4 to 6 hours. How long can you use it? You can use it every time in case of breathlessness, as long as your doctor prescribes you the medication. For safety, there are no restrictions, so you can uh, drive safely when using salbutamol. You can also combine it with alcohol and with any type of food. It will not give any problems. For the correct dose, if you're an adult or a child older than 12 years and you're using dose aerosols as shown on this picture, you can use the strength of 100 to 200 micrograms upwards to four times a day, so maximum 800 micrograms a day. If you're using a disc, you can use the strength of 200 micrograms a day upwards to eight times a day, so again maximum 800. And for a novelizer, if you want to use that brand, you can use the strength 100 micrograms up to eight times a day, so maximum 800 again. For children from 6 to 12 years, you could also use Cyclocaps, which is a different brand. You can give the strength of 200 micrograms upwards to 4 times a day to 800 micrograms a day. Or you can use Novalizer, which is 100 micrograms and you can use it 4 times a day, so maximum 400 micrograms. For children from 4 to 11 years, you can also give them dose aerosols in the strength of 100 to 200 micrograms, maximum 400 micrograms a day, so two times maximum. And if you're giving them a disc, you can give 200 micrograms, maximum four times a day. And lastly, for children younger than four years, give them dose aerosols, 100 microgram. And if they have insufficient effect, repeat it again after five minutes. And if they still have a lot of breathlessness, then always contact your doctor to see if you need a different medication or you should get a checkup. So, salbutamol has very good effects, but it also can have some side effects. And 1 to 10% of all people who use it, it can give any of these side effects. So, fast, ha fast heartbeat, some headache, dizziness, restlessness, burning sensation on the tongue, nausea and sweating. And sometimes, less than 1% of all people that use it will experience palpitations, which is a sensible beating of the heart. They can have muscle cramps in any muscle and an irritation in the mouth or throat. There are other side effects. If you think you might be experiencing a side effect, always check your own prescription and contact your doctor if necessary to see if you need another medication or you should adapt the dose. And when you're pregnant and you want to use salbutamol, it's completely safe to do so. You can use it as prescribed and the same can be said for when you uh, are breastfeeding or lactation. It's safe to use, it will not be harmful for the baby and you can use it as prescribed. Then there was my short overview on all the essentials of salbutamol or ventolin as it's called. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more, check out my in-depth video in the description or ask some questions in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos and see you next time. Thank you for watching.